Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I want to show you how to unlock this iPhone SE third generation. That means 2022. This iPhone SE third generation has the A15 Bionic. So it's the same chip used on the iPhone 13 and also 14. So this is pretty much latest and greatest from Apple on a small format. The only problem is this guys, carrier lock, SIM lock. This device might be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited. Contact your provider for more information. I'm gonna put a SIM card from Mint Mobile to see what happened with this device. Activation required, dismiss. Software update complete. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. SIM not supported. The SIM that you're currently have installed on this iPhone is from a carrier that is not supported under the activation policy that is currently assigned by the activation server. This is not a hardware issue with the iPhone. Please install another SIM from a supported carrier or request that this iPhone be unlocked by your carrier. Please contact Apple for more information. We need to take out the SIM card if we want to keep using the iPhone. We cannot use it with this SIM card in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to unlock it using the AT&T portal. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy Copy the IMEI number, which is here. Copy, and then I'm going to type on Google AT&T Unlock. And I'm going to click here. Okay, I'm going to close all this and look at this. Submit and unlock requests. So click there. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No. And here I'm going to paste the IMEI number. You can see the website automatically recognize the phone as an iPhone SE A2595, okay, 2022. Click here on I read the legal info and then click next. Immediately, you're going to have this message. It says, we cannot unlock this device because this device is still under contract. Sign into your account to review your contract. To pay the early termination fee and unlock the device, call or dial from your wireless device. You can submit a new request 24 hours after your payment post to your account. It doesn't even allow me to put my name or my email. This is telling me automatically that this device is under a contract. And why is doing that? Because this is a pretty much brand new device, you know? And that's why this free unlock request is not gonna work because my device does not qualify. So what are options we have? Here's the MKSD attached to a Mint Mobile SIM card. I'm gonna put it here and hopefully I'm gonna get the black menu. We're gonna click US AT&T because this iPhone is locked to AT&T. And after that, we're gonna use the auto TMSI mode. Accept. Okay, let's try it again. Look guys, something happened. So yeah, US ATT, let's do that, US ATT. And then the auto TMSI mode, accept. After a lot of tries, it says no service, but that should change. But we bypass that lock. We bypass the lock, guys. Voicemail. Uh, they recommend you to. They recommend you to pretty much turn off the um, the Wi-Fi. No service. We almost did it, guys. We almost did it. We almost did it. We almost did it. Hold on. So I'm gonna turn turn off the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go to cellular. Roaming limited ID tracking, theater roaming, 5D. Voicemail is still pop mint. Look at this guy, mint mobile. Wow, this is crazy guys. We did it. With Wi-Fi calling, I'm gonna turn it on. Oh come on. All right. Wi-Fi calling off, career services, but look at this. Network selection, Mint. You can add a eSIM. 
But hold on one second. Why I got a text saying something like iMessage is sign out. Settings. iMessage in now. Okay, good. This is Ryan Reynolds, owner of Mint Mobile. Sorry, this service is not available. Okay. I am with Mint. Finally, guys, after a lot of tries. And let me do the 611. Okay, and this is the confirmation that is working now. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you can support my channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Oh, look at this. What happened? And now it says Mint. So, yeah, I mean, they say it's a little bit unstable. But you can see it here. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.